Hey, it's Noel Christopher coming to you with another video. Sitting here in traffic after I drop my kids off gives me a lot of time to really think about uh, different things that are going on in the markets, things I'm reading. There's still this recession narrative, this economic narrative that's being pushed. Hopefully, uh, that narrative is not going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. And we see this happening all the time, so I, I, I'm just gonna keep talking about it till I'm blue in the face. You can push narratives Coming into an election year, there's a lot of narratives there being pushed on both sides, so not to get into politics. Housing Wire just did an interesting article about um, recovery from peak in a lot of markets that a company called, a mortgage company called HSH, um, Google HSH, uh, look on, towards the bottom of the website, there's a report. Housing Wire article just really only touches on it. There's a lot of great information in this report. But I caution because everyone talks about have we recovered from the peak of the last recession? There's a lot of markets who haven't, and there's a lot of markets that have gone over it. There's still 25% or so that have gone uh, that are still below it, and there's a, quite a few that are right there at that at that peak value. It's a metric that some people use, and when we were buying homes for uh, institutional funds back in 2012 to 15, we used that discount to peak. It was something that was a metric that was used. I thought it was a false metric. In many markets around the country, during the last recession, was caused by speculation and prices of homes shot up because the banks were giving out loans to anybody that was stated income loans. You just had to have some credit and you could state your income, state your employment. As long as you had that credit, you would get the, the loans. That caused a lot of fraudsters to come out and a lot of people were doing uh, fraudulent transactions and inflating the prices of houses. To use those inflated prices as a metric to see if we've recovered is, is false. When I quickly look through the list, and I'm not gonna name the cities because I don't wanna be off on, my, on, on what I'm naming, many of those cities, areas that I theorize that they were high fraud areas with a lot of speculation and inflated values. It's, it's what I say all the time. When you're looking at numbers, think a little bit deeper into them. Just because a market is below the peak value of the last recession doesn't mean it hasn't recovered. And you really can't look at where something where where something was back in 2011. I think they took these numbers as being the the troughs, which is about right. And the peak was actually really kind of peak was more in like 2005, 2006 in a lot of markets. Just because you're not there doesn't mean really doesn't mean anything. It's interesting information to see markets and how they've recovered. But what does that really mean for you today? It is what it is. It's where it's at. There are some markets that have gone way up. They're adjusting. They're kind of taking their foot off the accelerator a little bit. That's it. Just wanted to throw that out there. Love to hear any comments and I uh, hope you're having a great week. Thanks.